Hello all, today we are going to make a basic processing tutorial on how to make a ball move left and right. Maybe that's not your interest in learning processing, but this is a great way to teach all the basic concepts. So first of all, I'm going to open a new blank canvas of processing. Next, I'm going to begin typing some code, void setup and void raw. I'll explain these after I type them. Okay, so void setup is, you can think of a void or as, it, it is a method, but what it basically is, if you want to think of it that way, is a container of code. So inside these brackets, curly brackets, we write code. What's the difference between them? Void setup happens only once, whereas void draw loops many times a second, and by default, 60 times a second. So any action goes here, and any initialization goes here. So if I play this right now, you will get nothing. You will just get a blank 200 by 200 gray screen, which is the default. If we want to change the size of the, pic of the screen, we type size, and then the X and Y. Don't type X and Y if you're typing this. Instead of X, we put how many pixels we want horizontally. So if I want this to be 300 and vertically 200, then if I play it, that's the size it'll be. As you can see, it's bigger than before. And I think I may have been wrong about the defaults. So I'm sorry about that. Don't let it confuse you. So if I wanted to make it more um uh, just longer vertically i would i could make this longer than the x so as you can see that's basically it for size every thing is done in pixels in processing okay so i'm going to make the screen a nice 400 by 400 square or maybe i might go bigger 500 by 500 Anyways, the next step I want, want to do is change the color of the screen. Right now, as you can see, when I hit play, it's just a gray screen. To change the color, we type background, and in here, we type RGB. You don't type RGB, but you type the value from 0 to 255. Red, green, blue. Um, if you wanted it to be fully red, you do 255, 0, 0 and that would make a fully red background. If you wanted to, it to be fully green, RGB, you would change this number, and that would give you a green screen. And if, you want, if you're not very familiar with RGB, you can always, processing gives you a color selector tool. So you go to up here, tools, color selector, and you can just drag it visually. Say I wanted a, I don't know, aqua color. I can just drag it to aqua. This is the color I want. Nope, not really. Nope, nope. I actually want this sort of color. Okay, so if I wanted that color, I just copy the R, G, B, and put it in the right space, place. So red, 232. Green, 245. And blue, 138. And it is that color that's it to coloring. So now we've learned how to color our screen. Congratulations. Um, I should have saved the sketch before I started, but to save on a Mac, you can hit Command S, or you can click the Save button here, or File Save As. So I'll just do that. And this will save it in the processing library, um, I mean processing folder. I'm just going to call this beginner tutorial you can call it anything you cannot use spaces keep that in mind all right so the next thing we're going i'm going to show you is how to make shapes simple shapes so there are three shapes we can go over today there's the line there's the um ellipse and there's the rectangle so let's start with the line to do line you just type line then the x y x1 y1 x2 y2 
So from this coordinate to that coordinate, and you of course you cannot leave it that way, you have to write the numbers out. So if I wanted it to stretch from the middle of the screen, which is exactly half of the width of the screen and half of the height of the screen, that's the middle, to an edge, say, 0, 0, and this is what I get. As you can see, this is 250, 250, and this is 0, 0. And if I wanted this to be, I don't know, just, you could put any numbers you want there, play with it. Yep, it's just, it's just math. So that's it for line. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So now I'm going to delete the line because let me show you rectangle. So rectangle is just rect, then X, Y, with height. That's the format. And for X, that that's the put this these are the position coordinates, and these are the size values. So I want it to be in the center again, 250, 250. I want it to be a hundred pixels wide and a hundred pixels tall, and I get that. Now, as you can, you might say be saying that this is not really in the center, is it? But actually, the center is right here, the corner, the top left corner of the rectangle. And there is a that may be annoying for some people, but there is a way to change that. You can make this the center, and all you have to do for that is add rect mode center. And usually these things are put in setup because you don't need to change them all the time. It's just a one-time initialization. Let me show you. And there you go. You have a, rec um, a square right in the center. Okay. If you wanted to color this rectangle, you would do f fill. And it's the same exact coloring procedure. Um, I'm just going to use a color, color selector tool. I'm going to pick a random color say yeah I like that blue let's make it that blue so the R is 138 green 153 blue 245 and there we have it okay and now I'm going to make an ellipse an ellipse is just a circle or an oval it it has follows the same exact rule as a rectangle Except by default, it draws from the center. So I can I don't need this anymore. So I deleted it. It's always good to keep your code minimalistic. So this is an ellipse, a perfect circle, 100 width, 100 height. 250 by 250 is right in the center right here. And that's it for shapes. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you variables and if statements, and I'm going to show you how to move this thing. Okay, so, all right, so let's do that. Bef before, yeah, actually, let's let's just do that. Um, so v to in order to make it move left and right, we don't need to worry about the Y coordinate. The Y coordinate stays constant. It's the same place on, uh, vertically, yeah. But the only thing that does change is the X. And the size, of course, does not change if we want it to move. So the only thing we're changing if we want this thing to move is the x right here. So we, if I make that, say, 50 and play it again, the it's right here. If I make that 500, it's going to be sort of, yeah, right here. And, but I just want, I want it to move gradually in front of the user. So to do that, we need to replace this with a, with a variable. And to make a variable, you need to set it at the top. There are many ways, different variables, but the one I'm going to be showing you in this video today is just the most simple integer value. So int, you can call it whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'll call it x, and then that's it. Semicolon to end the line. And x right now has no meaning whatsoever, besides the fact that it's an integer, which means it cannot be a decimal number and that's it but it is a number so, and then here I said in setup I initialized what X is so X is just 250 but you can put it 
you can start it off wherever you want and you put x here and guess what what do you think will change the answer is nothing will change because we're just drawing the ellipse at 250 again if we want this to change we need x to change incrementally if i put it and I should now this is where setup and draw actually matters do i want it to change incrementally in setup only once or in draw many times well i want this to move constantly so putting it in setup is not a good idea so i want the x to add to itself if i want it to move to the right so x equals x plus one and one is plus one is the direction to the right that we're adding to simple as that so every frame the 250 becomes 251 252 253 and we have 60 of those per second so it's moving 60 pixels to, to the right per second all right so now if i you may see that there's a trail behind and that may be a bit strange at first but it makes perfect sense considering that uh, we're just drawing the ellipse on top of the background over and over and over again 60 times a second if we don't want that to happen we want also we actually want the background to uh, keep refreshing with the ellipse so instead of putting the background in setup i'm going to put it right before we draw our ellipse and there you have it it's still drawing the ellipse over and over again but the background is covering the old one so as simple as that and now i'm going to make it to change directions but first this one plus one again is the plus indicates that it's moving to the right side if I made it minus it would move to the left side because we're subtracting X and this is how the speed basically so if I do plus one and make this five it's going to move off the screen really fast much faster than before with one right so I can actually replace this with a variable and you'll see why that's preferable so again in speed you could call it anything you want I call it speed um, variables are by the way just a box of num containing numbers so right now it's just empty there's nothing speed me speed means nothing now speed means one that now that I've given it that's basically if I asked what is speed it's one simple as that and again nothing will change so why did I introduce the speed variable? Is it really going to change in this code? Well, yes, if we want to change directions, it's going to change. It's going to have to become a negative. Speed will have to be negative one if we want to move to the left. So if, so let, let me demonstrate. If speed is negative one, then it's moving to the left. All right, to, but when do we change speed? The code needs to change it automatically. And for that, we need an if statement. So if, this is the format of an if statement. If something is true, then do whatever's in the brackets. So if our x is greater, sorry, greater than um, 400, for example, and uh, as you may recall, this won't do anything because there's no, there's nothing after the condition. We're not saying telling it to do anything. If x is greater than 400, 400 is probably around here, this this part, because this is 250, this is 500, so this must be 400. Then we want speed to equal negative speed. So if speed was 1, it'll now be negative 1. And that's all it takes to change directions. See? That's it. Now speed is negative 1, and it'll go on to negative infinity until the program cr crashes. Okay, so now we want the same thing to happen when x is less than, say, 100, because this would make sense, 100. Um, if x is less than 100, then speed equals negative speed. Again, if it was negative 1, it'll become negative negative 1, which is just positive 1, because two negatives make a 1. So, observe. Now it'll just keep moving back and forth that way and there you have it in this tutorial you've learned how to how to make uh, shapes colors 
how to what the difference between setup and draw is and how to use variables as well as if statements and if you look carefully this this may seem a bit overwhelming at first but it's just pure logic let me go over the code one last time so this sets the size of the screen 500 by 500 this is setting a value to an empty variable called x this is setting a value to an empty variable called speed then we're setting a background color and then we're setting a color for the ellipse which is this then we're um this is where we're actually adding to the x so if we remove that then the whole code has no meaning it doesn't move anymore and by the way then double slash is actually a comment which means it will make that line inactive. If x is greater than 400 then we change uh, directions. If x is less than 100 then we change directions again. And if I wanted, wanted this to be exactly where the edge of the screen is then I'd have to do some math. Well the screen is 500, the center is right here and uh, from the radius is 50 so it has to be 50 off the screen to bounce off. So 50, 500 minus 50 is 450, and 0 plus 50 is 50. And you could do it by trial and error, or you could just use simple arithmetic. As you can see, now it looks like it's bouncing off the edges. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this is a good start for your processing your quest to learn programming or whatever your quest is. See you next video.